Hi guys, Billy back. According to the film, you can't stop Ragnarok. Well, Mezco gave it a bloody good go because they initially released this guy at the end of December, beginning of January, and it's taken over four months to reach British shores. It is the Mezco 112 Collective Gladiator Thor from the film Thor Ragnarok. Finally. <laughs> seems to be a recurring complaint I'm having at the moment and that's just everything taking so long to get into England. Major delays in Hong Kong and China. I don't know why. I, I don't know the full facts. Some people have said it's Brexit. Some people said it was Chinese New Year. But I just I can't see why it affects a quarter of a year. Chinese New Year affects at least three months. I don't I don't see that happening. It's, they're, they're usually really good. And I've never had so many delayed figures in my entire life. So God knows what's going on over there but whether it's via the factories having problems you know politics getting being involved or maybe it's something to do with England maybe all the shipping and all the importation has caused problems because of Brexit who knows who knows I don't want to talk about that stuff boring let's talk about Gladiator Thor now I love the movie Thor Ragnarok it's one of my favorite in the MCU and so whenever anybody drops anything to do with the movie I try to buy it as soon as Mezco announced 112 versions I was definitely getting it because I know they do quality and uh, I've also got the pretty much the entire range of hot toys I've also got the SHF figure arts figures because I'm a sucker for really expensive toys but anyway here's the box we got simple Thor Ragnarok logo some nice blue motif in the background Thor in the top left hand corner nothing going on there nothing going on there except for the logos pictures at the back figure what you get inside and some posing options again Thor Ragnarok top but um, you know what to expect from uh, Mezco now. This is pretty much a uniform box that they give every single standard figure. And here he is out of the box. And my, my first impressions when I got him, really nice set. They give you quite a lot to work with and they give you three head sculpts and they also give you um, a, a set of uh, swords in a sheath. They also give you a shield. They also give you his big screwdriver mallet thing. They also give you two unsheathed swords plus an empty sheath to put on his back when you're posing him like that. They give you an electric light effect and they also give you four extra hands. Plus they give you a base with a foot peg and a posing arm and the back okay let's take a look at that helmeted head sculpt it looks pretty good i think that this um helmet color is just a little bit too dark i think that's supposed to be like a dark blue but it's kind of like a, a matte black almost but this moves which is really cool a lot of them do that but it's nice when they always make sure that that happens and the the sculpt is pretty nice i, I think what lets it down a little bit is the paint application the beard is a little thin and it looks a bit scraggly they haven't they haven't filled it out as much as they have the other two head sculpts and he's this is the only one with the face paints on which is really good because it's the only time he has the face paints on in the movie but I think it's a reasonable head sculpt it's not too bad it's not it's not super movie accurate there's a few paint applications they've missed like a couple of blue lines going up onto the helmet there but not too bad and I really like the sort of semi bright blues that they've put into this to make the colors pop this is one of the reasons I really like Thor Ragnarok is it's just so much more colorful than some of the other MCU movies and here's a second head sculpt beards much well the beard is is far they've painted the beard on here much better than they did on that helmeted head it's much easier to do anyway because you can't really reach in there and paint that so well but this one done a really great job with some nice blending in that hair there really good and you can actually see they've done some they've done some paint speckling in there the eyes are straight and nice the eyebrows aren't too overbearing and cartoonish and they've even managed to put in the marks in the side of his head I really like that head sculpt it's actually probably the best out of the three I think and here is the third head sculpt very similar to the unhelmeted head I'm not sure if they've actually done much more than paint the eyes blue I don't think so but it is rather cool I'm not sure if it glows up I don't have a UV light or anything to show but it doesn't seem to glow up in the dark so it just seems like it's a, a, a blue paint application on there again the same nice blending if we come down we can see that upper torso again really very well painted no paint bleed off anywhere that I can see some nice wash in there hinders the articulation of the abs a little bit but that was to be expected when you looked at this guy on the shelf when they were advertising the prototype you knew there wasn't going to be a lot of bending that waist and the red 
right in down the armor there. Very well done. I like that shield. I think that shield's really cool. Nice color variants in there. Wrist gauntlets look great. Again, the uh, seams in the arms aren't amazing, but that's just the way it is. Because of the way they designed this body, when you hold down the arm a little bit straight, you get a sort of really ugly section here. It just sort of lumps out a little bit. So if you really want to pose it well, you've got to bend that arm and hide that. We come around the back and we can see they've continued to paint with the little sections, all the little brass buttons and whatnots. And then we've got this cape. And this cape is sort of like a stretchy, semi lycra feeling stuff. And they've also feathered the bottom of it to have it damaged and worn. It's really cool. Possibly it could have been a bit more weathered at the bottom, but it's not too bad. I really like that. And then we have the shin guards and the feet. There's a reasonable amount of ankle pivot in there, not a lot. It's a bit restricted, but it'll bend forward and back a little bit easier. And obviously you've got double bends in the knees that work really well. Thigh swivel, the whole lot. You can get him into some good poses, I think. And with a double bend in the arms, it really does help get him into a sort of action poses. And then you've got a basic stand with Thor Ragnarok Loco on. Comes with two of these swords. They're reasonably well painted. I quite like the way they've done this, but there's some splodging going on along the uh, details here. And this part here should be a little redder around these edges and blends into almost like a goldy yellow and then comes back into a sort of metallic red at the end. And they've missed out a little bit of that. It looks a bit more bronzy than the red, which is a shame. Just for comparison, here is the Hot Toys version. As you can see, it's a lot redder on the ends. Obviously, I'm not saying that Mezco should be as good as a Hot Toy, but I am saying the color variant is a bit washed out. But at least they got this hilt right. And you can see there's the sheath swords there. They work really well. Pop out over his shoulders quite nicely. And then when you got the swords out and he's posed with them, you got this empty sheath that goes on the back instead. Not really noticeable from the front, but if you turn it around, it looks really cool. We get this electric effect that wraps around his uh, arm, quite stretchy and bendable. Put that on his arm, makes it look like he's calling upon lightning. And you probably use that with the blue-eyed head sculpt. It comes with six hands, two on there. He's got two weapon holding hands, two open dramatic posing hands. I really like those ones. You've got two fisted hands, all well painted. Again, no bleed off. Good quality control from Mezco on this one. I like it. And here he is posed with the lightning effect. Here's the two swords, and he also has the glowing eyes head sculpt on. Overall, guys, is this really cool figure. The joints are tight but not too tight. The sculpting and the paintwork are the usual high quality that Mezco do. And I, I really like him. I do. I think it's fantastic. They've given me everything that they advertised in the uh, prototype, plus a little bit more. And I'm really impressed by this one. I really like it. And just for a quick comparison, here he is next to Mezco Hulk. But actually, this probably isn't the best Hulk to pose him with. Honestly, because Mezco Hulk is a little bit undersized, 112 Thor looks a little big next to him, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe they've got the scale right. If you actually bring in SH Figure Arts Hulk, you'll see that he is actually just a little bit sorry trying to get some space behind it he is a little bit more sort of the right size for gladiator thor from mezco and then you can actually use the mezco hulk next to the shf gladiator thor looks much better honestly guys i'm just glad to have him in my collection now with my mezco hulk i think they work well together but I think the SHF Hulk works better with the Mezco and vice versa, which is a shame because I think the colors help make him pop as well as the colors on the Mezco Thor. So it would have been nice if he was a little bit bigger so he could look comparatively impressive next to Thor. Anyway, back to Thor. His articulation is really good. Slight problem with the ab crunch in the middle there, but that was to be expected. But you still get him in uh, quite a few poses. You can also have three different head sculpts. You have sheathed and unsheathed sword you have a shield you have the uh, bludgeoning hammer screwdriver thing you get extra hands there isn't much that you wouldn't want with this figure except for maybe a damaged eye head sculpt he's definitely a keeper and i recommend if you haven't grabbed him i would okay guys that's it now like and subscribe and if you could do me a favor if you get to flip out of my cave i'm gonna go play with thor a little more